Hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. I got the uh, apron to prove it. It says cooking with Jack and Pam. Welcome to the kitchen. You know, as a widower, I find that one of the things I do that kind of helps me in my grief journey is staying active in the kitchen. If you've had a great loss in your life, trust me, you can still find some joy in the kitchen. You may say, that's impossible. I just can't do it. I don't have anybody there with me anymore. Well, I get it. Pam's not with me physically anymore, but I still sense her presence. And we loved our times in the kitchen together. I keep her picture right over here on the refrigerator as well as a reminder that she is nearby. Well, tonight, today, whenever you're watching, we're going to make something fun and easy. And it's a healthy, delicious recipe. We're talking collard greens in less than 15 minutes. And we're talking about a dish that's called... Now, get ready. Get ready. Sensitive ears. It's called bitchin' chicken. I just like saying that. It is delicious. And it is with a nut-based sauce that is out of sight and delicious. Stand by. We're going to show you how to make it and have some fun in the kitchen. Now, I've got a couple of jalapenos here, and I've cut off the stems, of course. See there? Now, what we're going to do is take out the seeds, though. Unless you like it super hot, you're going to want to take the seeds out. So we'll go over here to the sink. I know this is an exciting video, isn't it? We're going to turn the water on. There we go. Kind of clean those out. Okay. Seeds are all out. Got two or three of these. I've got two big jalapenos, actually that I'm using. Get that one cleaned out. Let's clean out this third one. There we go. Here's the last half. And they're done. Oh, probably up. Here I am, hey, okay. Never done a video like this. I'm kind of trying out something new. It may be crappy, who cares? Consider what your price is. Okay, so now we got our jalapenos, right? All right, I got my big old knife, and we're gonna slice these up, okay? I know, people probably watch you go, hey, I know how to slice. Hey, I get it done, right? Like Larry the Cable Guy said, get her done. So, there, we got her done. We got some jalapenos. I got some purple onion, okay? Organic purple onion. We're gonna slice up a little bit of that. It's gonna be enough. I'm gonna save some of that for another dish. Cut that into some little pieces. Bingo, bango. We've got our jalapeno peppers and we've got our onion. What's next? Stick around. Hey, we're at the kitchen, uh, you know where we're at. We're at the stove now, that's right. And I've got a little bit of garlic it's starting to cook up in a little bit of olive oil, okay? We're gonna give that a nice little stir. Oh, it smells good. Here comes our peppers and our onions. Those looking nice. Oh, and they smell so, so, so good. Give them a nice stir. Again, all we got, a little bit of oil, some garlic, our jalapeno peppers, and some onion. I need to add just a little bit more oil. There we go. Give that a nice little shake. This is good oil, too. Trader Joe's extra virgin olive oil. Can't be beat. Now, I also have from Trader Joe's, I know I sound like a sponsorship for these guys, but I love their organic, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Because that is what we're making, of course, is a chicken dish. Let's let that scoot around a little more. Just love the way this smells, and you are going to love it too. So, our jalapeno peppers and our purple onion, it's pretty soft now. It's still going to get to cook for a while, but it's time we add the chicken in and let it start cooking and absorbing some of these great flavors as well. So, here's our chicken breast. Whoops. That's number one. And got to have two if Pam was here. She's kind of here. She's just really quiet. So there, we get those going. And those will probably have to cook, I don't know, 
10, 15 minutes, get them nice and cooked through and through. And then here in a couple of minutes, we'll then add our bitchin' sauce, if you will. Oh, you're wondering what that is? There it is. The camera reverses things, never understood that. Anyway, it's, and I worked in television, I should know this stuff. Anyway, it's Chipotle bitchin' sauce. It's all nut-based, it's all organic, it's gonna be delicious, trust me. So we're gonna let that cook for just a little bit now. Now after only about 10 minutes, looks how beautiful, look how beautiful this chicken is looking. Oh yeah. I didn't mention earlier, we're using a black cast iron skillet because I love just the flavors you get with a black cast iron skillet. Some of you may have said, well heck, you could have done the whole meal over in your big super duper ninja. Nah, you can't quite get that same flavor you get in this black cast iron skillet. See our peppers and onions look beautiful. You could actually make this as your meal what we've prepared here. But like I said, we've got this bitchin' sauce that we're getting ready to add. And this stuff tastes fantastic. Here it is. Again, organic, all nut-based. So we're gonna pour that over our dish. This is just going to be fantastic. Look at that bubbling up there. And we're gonna let that cook, oh, for another 10, 12 minutes or so. And by then, our collard greens are going to be all done too. This is looking mighty fine. You wanna zoom in a little bit? We'll bring the camera in. There we go, right over the top. Yes, sir. -y. This is rich, delicious, nothing bad in there. And for those of you who are on those keto diets, this is all keto friendly, what we're creating here this evening for dinner. Calling it mine. Okay, the greens are just about done. One second. There we go, the timer just went off. Now you say, what do you do? You slowly release the pressure valve. Don't burn yourself, have a towel ready. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Steaming off really good now. Now, if you don't like the smell of greens, maybe a little bit of a turnoff, but trust me, they're gonna be tender and delicious. So we'll let that release. Takes usually, oh, 30, 45 seconds. Then we're gonna take the lid off. So stick around for the exciting conclusion of the collard greens. Then we'll get back to the chicken dish here in just a minute. You hear that? It's almost done. It was about a minute, minute and a half actually. Now, the key though, you don't wanna burn yourself when you take the lid off, okay? We're gonna hit our power button, button and take it off. It says goodbye. Now we're gonna slowly take the lid off. And you wanna lift the lid away from you so you don't get burned by the steam. There we go. We'll put this over here. The greens look beautiful, trust me. I've done this before, I know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, they are perfect. Look at that. I hope you like collard greens because they are so, so good for you. There they are. Absolutely delicious. Stick around for the plating of the bitchin' chicken. We're back stove side. Our bitchin' chicken is ready, and my goodness, does it look delicious. Here, we're gonna get it on the, got, and I got a spoon already for all this rich goodness. If we were not avoiding carbs, some bread would be so good with this sauce. There you go. Take a look at this, friends. How's that for dinner tonight? Ooh, it's gonna be good. You're probably saying, oh, what's all that oil there? That's just some of the olive oil and the spices that were in there. Was this good or was this good? Hey, you know what to do. Keep subscribing to our channel. That, of course, is Traveling with Jack and Pam. Also, I invite you to check out my podcast. That, of course, is Love Letters to Pam, The Jack Church Show. Until we see you next time, have a great day, a better tomorrow, and bye now.
I got to get up now. I'm tired of squatting. 